All right, so I need to show you guys real quick how to get everything set up for Visual Studio Code. So get, obviously we need to get into Visual Studio Code. Let's get this thing out of the way here. There we go. All right, and I'm just going to go ahead and set this up in dark mode. Hit mark done. Okay, so now we're at this window. We got to go into our extensions, and we have to add the extension for Python. Okay, so make sure it says Python, Microsoft, IntelliSense, PyLance, Linting, Debugging, yada, yada, yada. This is the one that we want. Click install. It might take a few seconds for it to install. Okay, once it installs, don't worry about this. Just hit mark done close this get started screen and then we're going to go ahead and close this get started screen as well i want this to be open to your file manager and i want it to say open folder i don't want you to click anything i just want everything to be closed if you have an open folder go in here to file and go down to where it'll have like a closed folder option for you okay all right so from here i'm going to get out of the get started screen again i'm going to hit terminal New terminal. Okay, and we're going to work everything in the terminal. Okay, I have found that I have to do all of these steps, otherwise it doesn't install properly. So some of this is going to say it's already there, and we're just going to fly through. Okay, so we're going to type in Python dash m hip install dash dash upgrade. Hip hip is a Python package installer. Uh, which is kind of like those libraries that we have sitting in the back all the time. Okay, so this has already been there. Again, like I said, I'm doing this repetitively to make sure everything is installed correctly for me. So we're going to do pip install pylint. It should be already installed as well. Next, we're going to do some various little packages now. And I'm going to go move you up there for now. All right, we're going to go... Maybe I can bring this up a little bit higher for you guys. Okay. So here we go. We should go pip install pillow. It should already be there. Pip install pi game. It's already there. Pip install. This is the one we need. Map plot lib install or hit enter and a go. This one needed to write. This is probably the reason why we haven't been able to operate matplotlib inside of 3.2.1. Before, you guys did not have access to be able to do this, these commands and be able to operate in a sense that was uh, doable for us. Okay, so there we go. And I'm just going to put these last couple ones in just to kind of make sure everything is operational for us. Pip install pandas. Pip install go direct. Right. So I'm going to do a couple of test files real quick. Everything is installed. And I'm just going to kind of get everything up, going up here. Close that out. Open folder. And I'm going to go into this. You guys don't need to do this step. I'm just testing to make sure that it works. Yes, I want to trust the authors. And I'm going to open this file. All right. So notice here, matplotlib.py uh, plot and pandas, it's not recognizing that. That is because matplotlib and pandas isn't operational or very it doesn't really recognize the version of python that i'm in notice down here it says python version 3.9.4 it does not like that version so i'm going to switch it to 3.8.10 and it should get rid of it for me okay now what i can do is i can hit the go button or the run button after a couple seconds here, you're going to see it's going to pop up, and the, the two graphs that I have showing will pop up for me. Boom, graph one, graph two. This is the first part 
of 3.2.1. Everything is operational now. So if you get an error, let's see what happens if I were to run that. Notice this isn't, it doesn't like these here. If I hit run with them being that way, it's going to say, hey, modular not found error, no module named matplotlib. It is not recognizing matplotlib because of the type of version for Python we have. Again, switch the version to 3.8.10. It switches and it gets rid of that. I wonder what happens when we go to the other version that's downloaded to this computer. So 3.8.0. It'll work inside of 3.8.0 as well, which is a 64-bit one. Okay, so let's see what happens when it loads. It did not like that. Okay, that's good to know. So it looks like we need to have 3, 8, 10, 32-bit in order for this to work properly. Okay, that is all I needed to share with you guys. Have a good day.